Good morning, dear hearts. Lesson 196, it can be but myself I crucify. Um, first of all, that word crucify really immediately conjures up a very specific image. I will exchange and use a couple of other words along with the word crucify, and that is punish or attack. Both of those are appropriate. It can be but myself I attack at any given moment. Whenever I believe I am attacking someone else, another brother, another part of the sonship, another living thing, I'm actually only attacking myself. One, because there's only one of us. But we cannot be apart from anyone or anything. This lesson, and this lesson in particular is one of the reasons I always say, and I'm not the only one, go through the lessons more than once. Don't do the lessons for one year and think that you've got it all because I will guarantee that the more you do them, the deeper they go and you will find meaning and depth in them the second, the third, the fifth, the 20th time that was not there the other 19 times. So um, this lesson also goes on that uh, you, if we believe we are bodies, okay, then we will believe that we can be crucified actually crucified we we see ourselves as being placed on that cross um, the realization that if i don't want to have those thoughts then what i need to do is to change how i see the world and i need willingness not time in order to shift my thoughts in order to see differently, to have a different realization, to have what it says, um, liberation and life. It, and you will see within today's idea, the light of resurrection, looking past all thoughts of crucifixion and of death to thoughts of liberation of life. Because when we are willing, we are ready to put down the nails and the wood that we have used against ourself, thinking perhaps that we've done it to others, we will come to the realization that if I attack anyone, I am attacking and hurting and punishing myself. The dreary, hopeless thought that you can make attacks on others and escape yourself has nailed you to the cross. Perhaps it seemed to be salvation, yet it merely stood for the belief that fear of God is real. This is the other thing that this lesson addresses. There is a fear of retribution from um, what we would call a divine source. In truth, it is the God with a little g that the ego made up at the moment of our separation from God the Father. And in that moment of separation, we stopped realizing that it's God the Father and we are the Son. It says, if you understand it is impossible that you be hurt except by your own thoughts, the fear of God must disappear goes back to another lesson uh, that told us that there's nothing outside of ourself. I'm also going to bring into this that I am as God created me. I am not the body. So crucifixion is a very strong image of a body. And I am not that. We are not that. Also that when we are healed, we are not healed alone. When I am healed, I will bring you to heaven with me. Or if I refuse the realization of healing because I deny who I really am, I will most certainly drag you into hell with me because wherever I go, I go with you. Likewise, you're taking me there as well. 
So the realization simply to free our thoughts from the way that we have thought, from the, the instances and the scenarios and this littleness that we have been presented with and have accepted to go beyond that is where our freedom, our salvation is. This lesson says that you have sought to be both weak and bound because you feared your strength and freedom, yet salvation lies in them. There's a very famous quote from Marianne Williamson, and I'm going to make it very succinct. It's simply that we fear our magnificence. It scares us. So instead of going towards our magnificence, we have embraced our littleness. It's time to release that embrace. It's time to let that go, to stop punishing ourself, and instead to realize that when I truly join with my brother and realize that they are one with me, and we are both one with and in God, then everything is possible and everything is given to us. And the one last thing uh, in paragraph 12, it says there is no thought of God that does not go with you to help you reach that instant and go beyond it quickly, surely and forever. That other thought of God that goes with us is not only our brother, but indeed it is the Holy Spirit and the Christ who all come with us, that we go to heaven hand in hand, healed and whole and perfect and happy. So that's it for today. I hope this helped. Please subscribe, I'll say that first. Please like, please share, uh, please comment, and please be here tomorrow. Namaste.